mapping the Akai MIDI mix to Ampfreak software. This process should take no more than five or ten minutes. Uh, it's relatively easy. Uh, please follow this tutorial exactly and the whole process will be painless. Okay, very first thing to do is to open up the panel. Uh, make sure your controller is connected first and then run Amp Freak. Uh, the panel is uh, the panel button is over here by the parametric EQ. You just click it and it will open up a panel. Uh, to start with, I'd suggest you hit the MIDI reset just to clear anything that may already be there. Do not hit this again, otherwise you will find that you've lost all of your assignments. Okay, first thing to do is to hit this MIDI learn function. Uh, a couple of moments later, you should see some parameters come up like so. Uh, please ensure that these kill switches are all set to two. For Akai MIDI mix, you need these set for two. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start assigning the controls. Um, it's as simple as clicking on your screen. As you see, something highlights. Uh, uh, this is the fader for the sub bass. Uh, that is on the controller is over here. So as I move this fader, you will see that the highlight has now gone. And I'm putting the fader in the correct position, which is at zero, which is uh, about in the middle. Okay, second one is the bass third one is mids fourth one is tops uh, and then we've got the reverb over here this is the reverb gain and then we've got the tape echo gain uh, siren is over here siren gain and then we've got the sample and lastly master okay so that's all the faders assigned let's do these buttons uh, in this case they are transport buttons first one is play second one is stop third one is rewind and then we have load uh, do the same again for track B rewind and load okay that's the first load of buttons done let's do the next row which is kills to begin with so that's the first one sub bass then we've got the bass mids and finally tops uh, then we've got the reverb send for the music, which is uh, this button here, and it's this control. Then we've got the echo, and then we will have siren trigger, which is this one, and sample trigger. Now, for the effects, you can choose either one or both. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with both for the samples, and uh, that's this effects button over here. Then let's go ahead and do these dials. So the first one are the frequencies uh, for the killers. Um, I'll put them relatively where they should be. I would suggest they're about here. That the frequency for the mids around here and the tops again hit the frequency and then uh, you can see the position that I've put. Uh, this particular dial all right so then we've got the reverb frequency that's this one and then we've got the echo frequency uh, siren select uh, sample select and then we have the next row which is the parametric gain so i'll do the first one as you can see i'm putting them in the middle okay so that's those done the next one is tape echo time this is here i'm going to put this about the middle and then feedback that's on about 70 percent so it's about here all right, and then we've got mic gain, and then dub filter, which is this one here, 
this is always in the idle position so you want to keep that on middle in, in in the minimum this button here and then we have the high pass low pass switch all right so we're now on the final row of dials um, we've got the frequencies for the parametric EQ again in the middle this one in the middle and these two and uh, these are the source gains which are these four um, faders here so I'm just gonna go ahead and assign them as such and that's it that's everything assigned uh, if you do make a mistake with one control it's very easy to to change uh, for example let's say I, I, I got this wrong all you do is you hit the shift key and click uh, as you can see it removed that assignment for that single control I've, I've highlighted it again and now I will go ahead and hit the uh, reverb gain fader assign it once it's all done you go ahead and click off the MIDI learn and you can go ahead and check it as you can see these are all working fine all the gains are working exactly as they should be tops always set these around about the middle okay and that's it all done once that's all done, you just can switch off the panel and start playing. Have fun.